Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Linnell. And your boy, Chandler. <laughs> God do it. All right, we gonna see, have, I'm gonna have see, to explain. Yeah, I had a little dental work done today, so uh, <laughs> my speech is gonna be a little off, but uh, I'm here for it. Dog. More than normal. <laughs> But we tried to make this as late as possible, waiting for the numbness to wear off. But the way that our dentist is set up, we probably won't be going till the morning. <laughs> for real, he don't play around. So, um, thank you all for being patient with us. I know a whole bunch of y'all been in my inbox. Y'all been hitting mm -hmm. me up. Some of y'all been just dag on like I might be said disrespectful, trying to talk about some. Well, you could do reviews on vacation. Who? Oh no. I ain't the way. I'm not set up like that. I'm nah. sorry. You know, there has to be a line in the sand drawn somewhere. Say vacation for relax a Hey, <laughs> turn up a <laughs> Speaking of which, if you have not checked out our vlogs from um, our Jamaica trip, go ahead and do so. They will be mm -hmm. underneath uh, both links. There's two parts to it. <laughs> like my friend said, said it, you don't want to miss this. Sit it down there in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. If you are a new family member, welcome to all my old family members. Y'all know what to do. Kick back, relax. It ain't going to be much to this. Yeah, yeah. But it's kind of, we're going to wave in between episode one, two, and three. If that's yeah. okay with you, raise your hand. I saw you. But anyway, <laughs> uh, did you just turn my page? You no, do I didn't turn my page, man. Know. I didn't touch your page, man. <laughs> we're going to get through this. Your dis distant destiny. Okay, who's in charge of the girls? Ralph Angel is in charge of the girls. Okay, so now Straight that pimping. ever since Dollar been gone, Ralph Angel has been on his hoe-ish like he has been before. And we all know that Ra is a little particular and a little peculiar when it comes to who he in love with and who he just bucking. But mm -hmm. the one thing I can't say who he's bucking, you can't misunderstand where you are in his life yeah <laughs> most of the time when he just bucking you you either outside in, in the, the truck, truck or in the shed so there's no way you could get your the blurry lines it's, no, it's just uh -huh. no way straightforward yeah so i can't respect that about raw he's showing you what it is that he feel about you yep. and if you you cool with being a quick buck in the truck hey, hey let's, let's do it just don't catch no feelings. Like that song hmm. said, pull your panties to the side. Keep your feelings <laughs> to the side. So, okay. I mean, let Raw do what Raw do. Hey. Now, Raw has this one girl that we saw this week that he's actually letting her in the house. house. Yeah, the other so girl, I'm yeah. like, I, I, I was trying to put two and two together and I said, is he looking at her as in the way that he started looking at Dollar and falling in love with Dollar because she's lighter skin, she has the you know the hair thing going on, the texture and everything kind of reminds you of Dollar ish. So and, and that's the one that Blue called him with. Yeah, he said, "Mama." <laughs> she and then did, she the, did look like Dollar from behind though. Yeah, and then at the end she kind of. She's kind of one of the ones that if you probably had a good conversation with her, you would probably see that she does have potential. Mm -hmm. Because even at the end, we're jumping ahead of ourselves. Blue actually ran up on Raph Angel with this girl in the house. So evidently, they had just got finished doing what they were doing. Little Blue needed how possible. Yeah, he is. He. But and he I know y'all don't believe in corporal punishment, but hell, I do. <laughs> but at the same time, uh, he is dealing with a trauma. He's dealing with He's a trauma. Dealing with a, his mom and dad is just not on the, on the, on the same page the right now. Only so, reason he ain't got his tail whooped. And he got to talk to his mama through the phone on FaceTime. And Ross so dare going to disrespectful. It's like she don't exist at all. But Lil Blue has been acting out, talking back, talking smack. And now he's wetting the bed. And anybody from a, um, a clinical background, if you have any kind of um, background in clinicals, you will know that there that is a telltale sign for a lot of things. Um, so Lil Blue, <laughs> Lil Blue had wet himself, and he tried to get up to tell his father, and his father was messing with old girl in the house. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay. So when 
this girl had came back for another round two, three, four, five. We don't know which one. Cause Ralph Angel didn't let her know. Look, listen, I'm working on something with my son. You know, I'm trying to get him back together. This ain't a good time. And she kind of was like cool with it when yeah, she popped mean, up at the house. Dad, yeah. You know, you know, handle your son. Be a mm -hmm. good dad. You know, basically, let me know when you won't hit again. I I thought she was gonna go off. Cause she's know. cause she spent all good gas money to come up over there. And them country roads. Mm-hmm. And all that darkness. Yeah. So I said, okay, who's in charge of the girl? Ralph Ages in charge of the girls. Mm-hmm. So Hollywood. Do I wanna go here first? No, I don't. Nova. Nova has this book deal going on that she, it took her what two episodes to really figure out whether or not she was she gonna, gonna do, do it, it or not. Yeah, y'all know how Nova do. We love her, we hate her, we love her, and then we get mm. pissed off with her. Now I'm pissed off with her because Nova has this book deal. Now she's learning that any of the stories that she covered while she was at her previous employer, she's not able to write those in her book. And that's mm -hmm. where she actually, that's where her headspace was at, was that I can pull that information. You know, I've already did the groundwork on all of this stuff. Writing a book at this point would probably be easy for her, but yeah. you know, she can't use it. But the deal was that. predicated upon that information, right? I was thinking that it yeah, was. Yeah, because pretty much the people was going off the, those previous stories. Yeah, I mean, But that's... I wonder if she can still write them, but kind of flip them and make it, you know, kind of change it up a little bit, use the same or Put auto-tune on it. But at the same time, that, that, that news station might still give her a hard way to go. So yeah, probably so you just might have just... just come up with a whole new story. Yeah, and she's creative enough to do so, and we're going to see that. So Noah is sitting, you know, she's having a conversation with um, Ralph Angel because at this time, you know, the black farmers are kind of, you know, settled into knowing mm -hmm. that, okay, they got these contracts for the next five years. They got these fixed rate loans <laughs> and everything's going to be a-okay. You know, Ross starting to get the respect of the black farmers and so is Charlie because they don't know nothing that's going on in the no, background. I don't know the deal. So... Nova and Ralph Angel sitting now talking and of course Nova is looking at Ralph Angel like how did this happen? Tell me how was Charlie able to make all of these problems go away? Go away. Mm -hmm. And he was like you know Rock can't hold water. So eventually we guessing and we know that he went ahead and spilled the beans about Charlie going into business with the Landry's and basically selling Queen Sugar Mill for a one percent um, stake. Wasn't it? There? Yeah, in their company. Yeah, one percent. Yeah. And you know, nobody ain't happy about that one. At yes. All. So Hollywood and Aunt Vi are actually getting ready to go to his class reunion because we know that Hollywood got this money coming in. Mm -hmm. He want to spend some money. Aunt Vi is like, we ain't spending a lot going down. We, we need still... to keep that money. Yeah. Hollywood said, listen, you got your pie business going on. I want to put my, my stamp on something in this world too. So he wants to invest in this barbershop. And I'm like, <coughs> money pit. Um, yeah. <laughs> So, but ain't, it, ain't that funny though? When you know, when black folks find out you can come in a little money, they got a business plan, but at least, but at least he came in there with an official business plan, though. Yeah, some people that come to your house, man, I wanted to come out and see you talk to them and you talk and they say, you know, you know what, you know, I got this business thing going on, you know, I prepaid wanna, legal. Yeah, I want to find out, you know, you want to get in on the ground floor. You know, before everybody else get in. <laughs> and this can make you a lot of money. Say, what's your, what's your business plan? What's the business model? You know, my cousin Pookie. No, no, no. This is what they do. Be like, <laughs> I can't tell you no more about it, but you need to come to the seminar. It's over at the Hilton Hotel. <laughs> and they can give you all the details. But you no. gotta come. No, I'm not going to the seminar. I'm not going to your pyramid scheme. <laughs> yeah. Not doing it. <laughs> so... While um, Aunt Vi and Hollywood are sitting at the table, you know, she's dressed up, you know, they're ready to go mm -hmm. to the class reunion and whatnot. And I guess Charlie and all them came over to the house to kind of see them off because they were looking nice and snatched and everything. Mm -hmm. Hollywood don't got Aunt Vi a new ring and all. I mean, so everything is looking up. I mean, black love. Hashtag black yeah. love. Yeah. And, um, Micah was there too, and all of a sudden, Nova knows how to ruin a good guy. No yeah, moment. she do. I'm like, you couldn't hold this until after the reunion. You couldn't hold this until you could just talk to your sister by herself. You just had to do this at this moment right here, right now. Okay. Okay. 
she said, mm-hmm, so you sold the Queen Sugar Mill for 1% stake. So basically you sold out our family and you sold out the black farmers for 1%. Is that all we're worth to you is 1%? Now, Mike is taking all this in because, you know, Mike is on his new I'm black and I'm proud. Mm -hmm. I'm getting to go to public school-ish. And he's looking at his mama some kind of crazy. Like, hold on, what? Like, what the hell did you do? So, Charlie, she defends herself. Now, I'm with Charlie on this one. Y'all can talk a whole lot of stuff, but ain't not now one of y'all got Put nothing. Put up nothing, no money. You know, they did help out a little bit around, but Charlie got, the, Charlie got the most risk on the line. Yeah, so Charlie done put all her money up. Yep. Charlie done um, put all the risk. And she said, no, no, no. What I was doing was I was protecting myself. And mm -hmm. what I did is I'm not trying to be a part of the game. Who called me? I'm trying to eliminate the game. And yeah. this 1% is going to get me the information that I need and close and have access to the information that I mm -hmm. need to be able to do so. So right now, I even know that the Landry's are having financial problems. Mm -hmm. With that kind of information, I could take them down and take them down for a fact. Yep. Okay. Nobody wants to hear that. Even if I was like, no, 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 I'm not feeling you on this one. Hollywood tried to jump in. And Charlie got nasty with um, him and was he like, said, he said, you ain't no board alone. I'm about to say, oh, what you not going to do is talk uh -huh. crazy to my man. But he should have kept his mouth shut, though. He he couldn't say nothing to that. Because, you know, yeah, he could not. Nah, yeah, that's... I beg to differ. Because... That'd be like, if I was at the table with you family and y'all bought up something like that, I wouldn't say nothing. Unless y'all bought me in. But they always bringing you into all the skits, so why wouldn't you feel like you could say something? But I see, bo I see both sides at that table. I can see my aunt vibe on point with everything that they family went through with the Landrys. And now they don't brought the meal. They own majority stake in it. And they don't understand. And then on the other side, uh, Charlie understands that. Uh -huh. But she no business. Exactly. But they don't know business. Yeah. Yeah. So they don't know that you can take a company down from the inside out. See, they, they don't know that. And they, they it's and a trust thing at this point. You so, trust her. So it was almost like what they were telling her was... I would have been proud of you if you just fought and lost it all. Mm -hmm. Then you my baby. Ah, oh, you did a good job. Uh -huh. Daddy know? would have been but, proud. But with, my, but with my money, he had done. Yeah. Here with my money that yeah. I put up. Can you help me out? Can you pay pa um, part of my rent? Yeah. So, Michael don't got so upset with his mama that now he doesn't even want to go home with her. He wants to hang out with Aunt Nova because he feel like his mom has betrayed the black race and all of this <laughs> so of course now we got charlie and her feelings and the only one that's really backing charlie up is ralph angel at this mm -hmm. point i said how, how the tables turn right yeah so over there at nova's house you know michael had already went to school he had hung out with the guys and the girl that were at the basketball game that actually did took the knee they took the knee so he's kind of in that group right now which kind of scares me a little bit because there was a part where they were at that school and the little boy was sitting on top of the table and the officer asked him to get off the table i mean that's simple rules yeah you don't simple sit on rules for any school nobody sits on top you don't even do that skit at home and the little boy just stood up to the cop like like, you can't tell me what to do. See, this is what makes me mad when it comes to us and trying to regain our respect and our power. And when we're trying to get things done in the world and the communities and stuff like that. Okay, like I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. <laughs> you know how it is when um, this real life right here, when you call your mama, they don't answer their phone. But when they want you, my mama calls me back to 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 back. And then, like, what do you, what? Are you okay? No, I just wanted to tell you I'd be I'd be home a little later than normal. Seriously. Right. But anyway. You told her to do that though. So I did tell her to do that, but she could have left me a voicemail. You know she don't leave no voicemail. She do leave me a voicemail. She do? Yeah. Okay. But she'll leave me a voicemail, but then she'll still call me back. <laughs> but I will take this. Okay. Because back in the days of being a crackhead, I didn't know where the hell she was at all. Yeah. So I, I got it. I'll take it. So it's this. the blessing, man. It's the blessing. It's the blessing. But anyway, talking about this guy doing black kid. Why we got to do the most with the least? Mm -hmm. This guy wasn't doing anything. He wasn't doing anything but doing his god doing job. Exactly. By telling you to get off that table. So you just stand up to him. So if he had have done something to you, the first thing you would have hollered mm -hmm. 
was that he profiled you. He did that because he you were it. black. Mm -hmm. No, he did that because your disrespectful hind parts stood up to authority when you had no business and doing so. After when that, it wasn't warranted. He got back on the table when he left. Yes. Yes. This is the kind of skit that yeah. makes when we actually take a stance, it makes it null and void. Mm -hmm. Because you are trying to do something, but you're doing something while doing something. Yeah. To make yourself get your tail kicked. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm sitting here like, what was that for? So if he dragged your tail to the principal's office, it would have been rightfully so. Because you did it. You did it. And don't don't call for no rally. Mm-hmm. Because you're guilty. Yep. And that's what happens is now because we had this um this girl here in the area. She got a speeding ticket. Mm-hmm. She got on social media and she went viral. She really did. Talking about the cop was racially profiling her. He was doing, he was treating her like scum, this, that, and the third. And the very one time, the one time that, you know, they didn't, yeah. And now she out in these streets looking real crazy because mm -hmm. people was backing her up. And they were like, no, something don't sound right about mm -hmm. this. And even my girlfriend, my good, good girlfriend in real life, she was like, I was stopped by that cop before. And I'm not saying that he's not a racist, but he treated me with nothing but the utmost respect. Matter of fact, when he realized that I was an anesthesiologist, he kind of made jokes about it. He was <laughs> like, go ahead and go about your way and put somebody to sleep, but you know, be careful to wake up. So she was like, I didn't get any of that from this, from this cop that you know that's in question. And then when this when the cam came out, this guy was so nice and professional towards her and didn't even give her a ticket. He just mm. pulled her over for speeding. <laughs> and he let her go. Something you did. Something you did. But you get on social media and you try to make somebody's life a living hell because you want to jump on the bandwagon. No, you can't do no, that. No, you can't do that. But anyway, like James said, I'm just so boss, but I'm back. Bye, bye, bye. Um, so, we get over there finally after this, you know, Nova came in there and crashed the party. We actually ended up at the real party over there at Hollywood's class reunion. Hollywood was shocked, boy. He had Shopping on that tailor suit, boy. Uh-huh. I uh, was had shocked. To, had the tie on with the fat knot up the top, boy. Yeah. yeah. They don't know nothing about with that. With the vest on. Yeah. That Southern preacher pimp right there. Yes, sir. They had don't the know beard, nothing about that. Not, it, he that got beard the beard was nice. lined up. He got the baby beard, though. He can't be in the beard gang yet. Yeah, he on his way. He, he his uh, his acceptance haven't been approved yet. Yeah. No. He gotta sign his paperwork next week. Gotta sign the paperwork next week. So he's in there, you know, he got one of the guys that he used to be partners with, him and his wife. You know, they chatting it up and whatnot, and they congratulating them on their engagement, asking mm -hmm. about wedding plans. They don't know, you know, and you know, what you do at your classroom, you floss a little bit. Mm -hmm. You um you put 20 on 10 just a little Try bit. Try to lose a little bit of weight before you get there. Yeah, you you get your best outfit on and your best yeah. hairstyle going. Oh, if I put the blonde on, I get said, your teeth fixed. <laughs> <laughs> so, so all of a sudden, that got done went charming. She walks in there and walks her hot pots pass on by straight to Hollywood. Is that my high school sweetheart? I would have said, <clears throat> Oh, I on Vi wanted to snatch up, but you know, you, you, you got to standing here. You got to keep that image going, you know. So her Vi yeah. kind of was like, mm -hmm, Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I said, Okay. <laughs> she gonna, she gonna get this later. So, you know, Hollywood, he, you know, he did good. Cause the girl put herself all up on him and tried to all hug him real tight. Uh -huh. You know, went to church, her the pitter patter. It was the come and get this again kind of hug. I said, Charmaine, if you don't take your tail. And I noticed so, you came by yourself, but he, uh -huh. he got a woman. And you don't know what I'm about. Mm -mm. She'll snatch you right on up. So then there came a part where they were all sitting at a table chatting it up. Charmaine comes over there once again. So now she got jokes. She gonna look at Unvi and talk about some. I didn't even get to really introduce myself because I think I met you before. You're Hollywood's mother, right? It's like, oh, here we go with that mood skit, man. Hollywood said, no, 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 no. This is my fiance. fiance. So then she gonna say, you know, you still got the moves like you used to have back in the day? He said, I sure do, but I got me a business, um, a dance partner. Yeah. Baby, you ready to hit the flow? She said, I sure mm -hmm. am. So they dancing, they dancing. I said, something ain't gonna go right. Something ain't gonna go right. Plus for one, you know, Avi has, you know, lupus. Mm -hmm. And have you all noticed that every episode 
they're really flashing the color purple and if it's not purple it's very deep hues of blues and purples it's a message so we're standing she's standing there and she's dancing and i'm saying something ain't gonna go yeah, right something's yeah. gonna happen to so that thing gonna flare up on her. so she started having a flare up on the dance floor so she went off to the side she said she needed a drink of water but i've seen some champagne i said huh don't drink that don't, don't drink, drink that, that. Mm -hmm. so eventually hollywood came out there because she actually took a step outside by the pool he came out there and got her and he was like you know what i wouldn't even be mad if you told me baby we can go ahead and go home. I need to take my fine fiance home. Hey. And she said, you know what? I like that That's right what now. you want to do. Let's go. Let's go. So I said, okay, Hollywood. I like the way you flow. You think flow. that little skit that Nova did back at the house flared that up with that stress? Stress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then this yeah. winch here coming in to create more stress. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you already got a stressful situation going on right there. Class reunions are stressful. Mm-hmm. Like plus, plus with the pies, you know. You know, we ain't talk about her pies in the grocery store. Folks have been on the red display or and they kind of put her, yeah, put her skin on the side. Yeah, so You think that was a mistake or you think that was real shit? I think that was intentional. I don't know. I think it was intentional. Wait, well, it might have been because they said the owner had just left. So why you didn't see? Yeah, why you didn't see? Before you yeah. left. Mm -hmm. Cuz at first I was trying to give him benefit of the doubt and say you I didn't. bet they wouldn't have did that to Pepsi or Coke <laughs> or 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 um what you call it, pies? Who? Patty. Patty. That winch. Let me stop. <laughs> Y'all gotta admit, Patty was a mess when it came to um giving. What the name was? James. What's his yeah, name? James. Was it? Was it James? The Patty Pie guy. Whatever his name was. Yeah. When it came to giving him his shine at first, mm -hmm. she said she did it all on her own. No, 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 winch. Mm -hmm. You didn't. Mm -hmm. You didn't. Nobody knew yeah, about your pie. Your pie was on clearance racks. We wouldn't have seen them pies if we if we didn't go to Walmart. So give people their due. Exactly. And then she she tried she made it up in his way. I said no, that ain't how you make it mm -hmm. up. When he got invited to Thanksgiving dinner, man, buck your turkey. <laughs> <laughs> I can make my own turkey. I can make my own with my own family. Yeah. So, uh, Michael actually had a sit down talk with his mom, and he was basically. Because after Nova wouldn't allow Micah to really down talk his mom, he went home and talked to her. And he was like, you know, I don't agree with what you did and how you did it. But please promise me that you're going to win. That while you dancing with these folks, you're going to at least win. She said, I'm going to give it my best shot. And she can't guarantee she's going to win. No. She can't. I mean, you really can't. So. Because at the end of the day, she don't know. She She's thinking in her mind that she's blindsiding them. But... And again, they've been they could, doing this could, for a yeah, long time. Yeah, they could time. be blindsiding her. They could be setting her up, and she don't know it. Yeah, and that's yeah. what um, I vibe was like. These Cause, people do this. Cause you remember um on Empire um Ed took Empire down, got Empire from the inside out, and you remember um uh, Andre said I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna get the numbers on the bid so we can outbid them to get Empire back. But Eddie was setting them up like they were trying to set him up. So Nova don't know they don't have Nova. Charlie don't know if they're doing it to her. They could be showing her that, oh, make her think we got some debt. Make her think we're doing some shady stuff. And so when she come out and try to take us down, we're gonna take her little one percent and we got the meal and we're gonna fire all the black farmers. So she mm. gotta be careful. And they under contract because mm -hmm. and all the black farmers gonna lose in the end because if something go down, mm -hmm. they gotta even pay to come out the contract. So So she she taking a lot of risks, so I I, I hope, hope she can come through. <laughs> yeah. If not, you go, you going back to California. Yeah. So, I don't know if it was first episode or second episode, but anyway, Ralph Angel's um, parole officer had came by and basically told him he was going to put in a bid for him to come off of um, probation early. Pro 18 probation, months. Parole, one of them. And Rob just being loose at the mouth. That's why some people you just can't talk around because they grab everything you say and they try to use it as an opportunity to do something else. Yeah. And kind of it put Raw in a bad spot mm -hmm. because it's almost like if he said no to this, dude could be like, well, no, I'm not going to put the bed in for you. For you, yeah. You won't help him, I'm going to help you. Well, dude said, oh, you know, since you want to hire, you know, you're looking for workers around the farm, I got some dudes that's coming out that need jobs. So why don't you give them a hand up like somebody did you? Mm -hmm. I'm sitting here like it's good, but don't manipulate me, man. And Ralph Angel didn't look sure about that at all, and mm -hmm. I wasn't sure about it at all either because I said until Ralph Angel is really released, 
he can't be around no bullshit. Yeah. So we don't know if these guys coming out are really changed. Because, you know, everybody changed when they first get out. Yeah, because some people look for a cover-up job. Yeah. So they can bring some skit out there. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the law going to follow where they are. Yep. They can come out there and do random checks. And, of course, you got two people that's in the system that's guilty by association. Exactly. So I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. So the guy had came out there to interview with Ra. He was late. L on the first day. You Everybody know. You get there hours early. You don't be late for an interview. I swear. You, yeah, you, you in the real world, you ain't getting hired. Mm -mm. If you late for the interview. So the guy said, you know, I ain't got no transportation. And uh, you know how the bus run? Ra said, yeah. On so schedule. On time. Yeah. On time. <laughs> Every time. So, you know, of course, Rob was looking at the guy like, it ain't never going to happen. But the guy kind of said something at the end to give Rob a little bit of um, wisdom about some ex uh, exhaust pipe that needed to be replaced. He was like, it ain't going to cost him a $15 or something For like the top one so exhaust, yeah. he kind of looked at him like, hmm, maybe do a little okay. bit. Actually, Nova was the one who put like the kind of the bug in Ralph Angel's ear to, you know. Yeah, she was right. Give him a chance like somebody else gave you a chance. Exactly. If it don't work out, it just don't work out. But yeah. you can at least try. So he yeah, called the guy out there again and they were sitting there talking and he basically told me, he said, look, this don't pay a whole lot of money. And the guy was like, you know, but I ain't looking for no fast results no more. I'm, I'm trying to really be good. I'm trying to be yeah, I ain't going offer, back. And I'm not going back. So Ralph Angel ended up going ahead and giving him the job and whatnot. But that's what I like about Sweet Pies. I do. Because of what happened to Tim when people get out of jail. Because the majority of the people in the kitchen are ex-cons. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, some of them don't they, Some of them don't make it. Nah. But it's a fact of the matter to get them an opportunity. Because majority of the time when people get out of jail, jobs don't want to give them a chance. Mm -mm. What's so funny is the crooks don't want to give the ex-con a job. <laughs> for real. For and real. that's for real. Yeah. I'll tell you about it some more one day. <laughs> And, um, so yeah, that, that happened. And actually Nova got her inspiration for what she was going to put in her book. Cause when she was actually talking to Micah about the whole Charlie situation, he kind of said, you know what? You got, you, you got to come up. You, you doing mm -hmm. big things. Um, auntie, you know, you got your book deal and you know, maybe you can write about the black farmers and the black struggle. And I said, uh, uh sound good, but. I said, Nova, what, what I don't want you to do is now write a book that's going to expose your sister. Yeah. Because I know how sometimes that stuff can happen. Yeah, it can. And you mad. So now you want to talk about the black farmers being portrayed on both ends of the spectrum. And who's in the middle? Your sister. Yeah. Don't cause, do that. Because we, we, we don't need a, another episode of the book deals on the best man. Ah. <laughs> he was bugging his girl all that time. And put it in the book. That was stupid. That was dumb. So, at the end of the episode, we hear little blue top was like, hey. And I said, well, who you, who done rolled up here? It's Dollar. Dollar mm -hmm. done came in from D.C., Chad. But why, right? I started welling up, Dollar. I said, just go ahead and forgive her. Because Don't forgive her. Because the wedding well, back it on is a lot. It is yeah, a lot. Because, oh, we know that Blue ain't here. But we, yeah, let me ask you this question. We knew that Aver was going to do that. And let me ask you this question right here. Because I know you. we've been hard on Dollar. Do you actually think she done changed, man? I do. I think I think by this time now. Look, now, this is what I will say. The game never changes. Okay. I live with an ex crackhead. Yeah. The game never changes. They just switch substances. They just switch substances. Hey, I, I know so, you were going with that. I do believe that she's not on anything anymore. I, I do believe that if she would have cracked under any kind of pressure and went back. It should have been this. Yeah. She would have done it. Yeah. So I think that she's good. I think she's in a really good headspace. And I think that, you know, she, she she's on the up and up. But she's still got some game with her. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Crackhead moves, I'm trying to tell you. You know, call on the phone with a hair done all real nice and makeup uh -huh. on. Yeah, that's all part Looking of the like game. a social worker. Yeah, look like look like she was in prison one time. Though. One time she did like she was in prison. Like, what the hell? Where are you at? <laughs> she looked like she was on the first 48. <laughs> so, no, but I... I, I get, you, you obviously love this lady. Go and get your lady back. Yeah, go and get her back. Go on. So we can talk her. skit. That's hey, all. Hey, you know, she done did some bull skit. Yeah, you do. You done did a whole lot of bull skit. He been sticking to movies since she left. Yeah. 
Yeah. We gotta make sure you ain't got nothing before you Hello. get back to work. Hey, you need to go to the clinic and get tested, player. Mm, get that penicillin, shine your high part. Yeah. Well, straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla. Holla.